Are you hydrosol lovers? You like rose water or lavender water? Do you use at least one bottle of hydrosol a month? If you have an answer of a yes to these questions, you want to watch this video to learn how to make hydrosol at home and find answers to some common questions regarding making hydrosol. This is Leo at the lead time. Hydrosol is a distillate made during the distillation of flour or herbs or other plant parts. You may heard of hydrosol is a byproduct of making essential oil. Actually, when you are buying hydrosol, you don't want to buy the byproduct because when they making the essential oil, they want to extract all of the essential oil out of the hydrosol by doing an extra distillation or even using the solvent extraction. When we talk about the hydrosol, we talk about the fresh made. It contains small amount of essential oil plus other essential compounds which can be dissolved into the water. So it's authentic uh, hydrosol. It's much better than the byproduct. So hydrosol is made during distillation. Distillation is a process of water extraction. There are two types of distillation. The water distillation or called hydro distillation and the steam distillation. So the hydro distillation means you mix the herb or plant parts with water in the boiler and then boil so the water and the volatile compounds will vaporize them and go through the condensation into a distillate. This is good for those large pieces and it's easier to set up compared with the steam distillation but it has a lower efficiency. Steam distillation is you separate the plant material with water so the water will be boiled and change into steam and the steam will go through the material because of the high thermal energy of the steam so it will extract the volatile compounds and the other reason for its higher efficiency because those volatile compounds they don't dissolve or separate in the water before they vaporize so they directly vaporize this make extraction more efficient do I use a dry material or fresh material the good news is you can use either one both are fine to make a high quality hydrosol the difference is the fresh material has a higher moisture content. The fresh leaf can have more than 80% of the moisture and even for the root, it have over 50% of the moisture. After drying, so its volume become much smaller. By using the same steamer, so it can put more material when you use it dry. You have more essential compounds can be extracted out during the distillation. With a fresh plant material, the water will be extracted out at the same time with other essential compounds so it can dilute your hydrosol. Now I'm going to use the KD5 hydrosol distiller to demonstrate you how to make a lavender hydrosol at home and there is a bonus essential oil can be made even with this powerful a small distiller. The steamer is two cup size bottom has a screw line to screw onto the pot. The first is putting a seed plate at the bottom. Fill up to the screw line, then put the top seed plate.
Depends on the power of the heater. It takes about 25 minutes to make a two cup of a high quality concentrated hydrosol. And a one batch is uh, about two cups. So that's a one to one ratio for the high concentrated hydrosol. Because the fresh made hydrosol has a small amount of essential oil, those essential compounds have a good antibacterial behavior. Normally, you just save in an amber bottle or color glass bottle. It can last a long time on your shelf. But one thing you gotta be careful is uh, doing a constant temperature. You don't put it in the fridge and then take it out for a couple of days and put it back in. Those temperature cycle is not good for the hydrosol. You can save a stock in the fridge or just leave on your shelf. Okay, that's today's video. If you are ready to start your journey to make your own fresh hydrosol, start with the KD5 hydrosol distiller. It's easy to set up, easy to clean. Of course, if you have questions, just contact lead time. And this is Leo. Thank you for watching and see you next time.